Hello and welcome to today's video. This video brings to you our new modular container home series, the Inbox Home Series. In today's video, we bring to you a module that is ideal for a family planning to make an extension of a laundry room to an existing house in order to create additional laundry space. Stay tuned to find out how you can make this laundry room extension with little or no interruption to your existing house. Welcome back. In today's video, we explore the new Inbox 160L. Inbox 160L is is a 160 plus square feet container module for a laundry room designed using a single 20 foot shipping container. This video will highlight the design brief of the laundry space, 3D floor plans and full color pictures of the exterior and interior design with finishes options and cost estimate checklist to guide you in your own container house project. We post weekly videos of modern homes designed using shipping containers to suit any family size. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas and shipping container homes reviews. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Foundation design. Before the container module is delivered on site, it is advisable to have an appropriate foundation to accommodate your new laundry module. Use a raised foundation level to elevate the containers away from moisture. In this particular design, we've used a raft foundation. Different foundation types that can be used for your own project may include a pier foundation, a pile foundation, a raft foundation which is also referred to as a slab foundation like the one used in this particular design or you can use a strip foundation last but not least you can use timber beams to elevate your container module away from the ground. Design concept. The traditional default location for laundry rooms has always been the basement. But unfortunately, not every house has a basement. A perfect spot for a laundry space might be the master suite or close to the children's bedroom or even near the back door for convenience purposes. If you choose a location near the living or the sleeping areas, shop for appliances that promise quiet operation and reduced vibration. A good laundry room design should be task based. Think about the tasks involved which include sorting of clothes, washing, drying, ironing and folding. Being organized while doing your laundry work makes the job easier. Arrange the work surfaces and appliances to facilitate the floor above. This 20 foot container laundry room makes it easy for the laundry to go from the washer to the dryer to the countertop for folding as per the layout floor. Front loading washing machines save on water but leaning over to load and unload them can be hard on your back. To avoid leaning so much you are encouraged to raise the appliances to a comfortable height on cabinetry that also provides some drawer storage. A cloth rod on the right of the dryer has been provided in the design to offer space to immediately hang permanent press items to keep them from wrinkling. You are encouraged to reserve space for an ironing board, either as a standalone or a pullout, close to the clothing rod to facilitate quick touch-ups. Like in this design, we prefer a pull-out ironing board so that we don't interfere with the movement around 
the laundry space. Shelves above the washer and dryer keep laundry products within easy reach. Like in the design, we have a laundry sink for hand washing which should be within steps of the washer and the dryer duo. Minimum steps in a laundry room makes maximum efficiency. All laundry and clothing care supplies should be stored in a one utility cabinet near the washer and the dryer so that everything is at hand when needed. Adequate shelf space should also be provided for storage of folded clothes and also laundry supply. Use laundry baskets located next to the washing area to sort out dirty clothing before washing. Bleach and other dangerous compounds should be stored in a child-proof lockable cabinet up high enough so that your children can't reach them. Structure and modifications. One side of the container is left without any fenestrations to accommodate adequate overhead shelving and countertop working space. The four meter long countertop offers adequate space to fold, sort and iron clothes as they come out of the dryer. The countertops can be made of laminates, stone, quartz surfacing or solid surfacing making it easy to clean up spilled detergents or fabric softeners. Tiled floors are easy to mop up in case of spills and will not be damaged by bleach. Adequate natural light from the 4.5 meter wide frameless glass window brightens the laundry room and eliminates that consigned to the dungeon feeling associated with many laundry spaces. This iconic window creates a magnificent viewing frame for the module by providing unfiltered views from inside the laundry space. An additional 1.5 meter wide window on the left hand side of the module to ventilate and daylight the sink space. The original cargo doors on one end of the container are used in an open position and fitted with full height sliding doors to create the surface necessary to join to an existing building or to provide access to this laundry room extension. Insulation and temperature control. The interior of the laundry space is lined with an appropriate insulation material depending on your climate. Without insulation, the laundry space would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. Insulation is also essential to prevent condensation which can corrode the container and cause mold. To achieve the best results in a cold climate, you are encouraged to use closed cell spray foam insulation and in tropical climate, uh, insulation blanket with plasterboard lining will do just fine. Exterior finishes. The basic design for Inbox 160L comes with a corrugated steel container exterior. If you are using a one-trip container, consider leaving the exterior as it is with its original color and markings to preserve its charm and history. It will also help you to save on costs of painting the exterior afresh. On the back side of the shipping container module that doesn't have fenestrations, a wire mesh has been welded onto the body of the steel container to accommodate some climbers and vines to introduce a bit of greenery to the rather bare elevation of that particular container. Roof design. Every design of Inbox 160L home series is covered with the signature standard seam flat roof which is with a side extension to cover the entrance space. When setting out your foundation, remember to add some extra space to accommodate the entrance. Other roof types that can be used on this design include a corrugated steel roof and a planted living roof. As it is the tradition of shelter mode homes, 
we also provide a cost estimate checklist for this laundry room. A cost estimate checklist is basically an itemized checklist to guide you on the things you need to consider when you are planning for your own shipping container project. The prices of the items in the list are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rate, tax and government regulations, and more importantly, individual tests and preference. For correct and factual figures, consult the relevant expert in your country. Drawings and details. If you like this design and want to make an extension to the laundry space of your existing house, then feel free to visit our website and purchase the blueprints and give them to your builder or fabricate it yourself as a DIY. The standard set of drawings come in DWG and PDF formats to suit your preference. The set of drawings have dimensioned floor plans, elevations, roof plan, foundation plan, and a section detail for any revisions. Come again, and a section detail. For any revisions, design inquiries, and custom designs, contact us on our website, sheltermod.com. So what do you feel about our new shipping container modular design? Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, visit our YouTube channel for additional container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.